So welcome to Challenge the Road and the comparison of the twin plate clutch and the single plate original clutch on the Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Now we'll do this one take, we'll just go out. I'm gonna try and go on sort of slower roads, junctions, bumpy roads, everything for you. Now I'm in the twin plate clutch, which is around a three and a half thousand pound option. Um, you can either buy them from Aston Martin or third party suppliers. And when I got into this project, the Vantage is everyone was going twin plate clutch, twin plate clutch, or some people were going, no, stick with the original, da, da, da. So what I wanted to do is because I've got both cars here now, fortunately, Paul, the owner of this car, has given it back to me to do a bit of filming. It's a lovely car, this green and bronze. That was the original concept of the CTR Vantage. That's what I was going to do all the cars, actually, and then sort of got pushed into a little bit of blue. And anyway, so... What does it feel like? Well, this twin plate clutch is seven pounds lighter. It makes everything spin up a bit quicker as well. Um, it does feel a little bit more urgent, the car, than the other car. I assume that's because it's just lost that sense of mass when going forward. I'm in traffic now, which is perfect for this test. It feels very light and it is called the light clutch. It reminds me, and I think it's almost identical to a Subaru Impreza. I've got a Subaru Impreza at home, a Terzo 99, my brother's car, and I went out in that a couple of days ago, and it feels like the Subaru Impreza clutch. So if you had a Subaru Impreza back in the time, this feels like that. Not like the 22B, not the ceramic one. It just feels like a normal 2000 reg Subaru Impreza clutch. Now, that is a good thing, especially if you've got long journeys or even you're commuting in the car it is very light it just takes a little bit of time to get used because you don't need as much rev um, to go because the clutch is lighter now this is this really bumpy section of road we went on yesterday let's just go through here and change gear feels good so you've got to justify is three and a half k worth the investment to have twin plate over single plate and what I plan to do is we're going to drive this along, then I'm going to go back, get the single plate, Aston, go straight back out in that, and then tell you exactly what the differences are. Both cars are pretty much identical apart from the seats. Um, that around 420 horsepower, maybe a little bit more. Um, 4.3s, 2006 regs. So this could the same dampers, um, same 4S tyres, although this is on the DBS 20s and the other one's on the, the lightweight 19s. So it'd be interesting. Um, obviously, straight away, it feels much easier to drive. I just want to see. It does feel like it picks up a bit quicker, but I need to get back in the other car to test that. Um, first impression is... I do feel like longer journeys or even the commute stuff would be much, much nicer in this. And it is a substantial difference, like night and day difference in weight. Um, I feel it could be a little bit heavier, maybe better. It is very light. I'd, I'd need to go back in that Subaru to see if it's the same. Um, such a good car, this. Oh, I love doing road testing. It's the best job in the world. That's why I've done the CTR Vantage. Now, coming through here, interesting on the 20s. Feels quite different to the 19s. Mm. Now, when I, when I made this car, I didn't actually have much time to even drive it in the twin plate clutch because it sold so fast. Because when I first done these uh, 4.3s, like the blue one I've got on this one, absolutely on the button cars. There's only there's only a few more things you could really do um, without sort of ruining the car. Like the one I've done in the 003, I've just tried to make that a bit more racy and a bit more glitzy with the spoilers and all that. But this, it looks stunning. Um, it really stands out. The upgrades are really good without going too far. It's just a really good road car. Whereas the 003 car, I wanted to say, well, I can make other types or whatever you want. You know, if you want a custom build, 
everything's going to be custom. You tell me. And in, in the garage that I'm building, I'm going to have everything there. You could just go dum 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 dum, uh, or you could have packages. And I'm looking at stuff at the moment with ECUs and suspension as a package. So that could be quite interesting, especially for these 4.3 cars. So I'm just trying to go everywhere that's a little bit tricky. Um, because that way I'm getting the best impression of this clutch. It is very good. It is very good. I wonder how the GT8 would be. Because obviously when I had the GT8, sometimes it used to stall off the line. Um, especially reversing was quite fiddly. It used to it feel like it dropped the revs. Um, so it could be quite a good upgrade in that. Now the automatic version of this, I think this could be a massive upgrade for that. And I am going to look at doing um, the auto version of the CTR um, soon, actually. I've been looking around. Um, I want to do all the range. I want to do the Volantes. I want to do um, the automatics, the manuals, the 4.3, the 4.7. Um, I want to head to V12 as well. That's the next thing sort of on the horizon. Um, and as I say, this is my passion. This is what I enjoy. Um, at the moment we've got the cars i've got I'm, I'm not selling i'm just keeping it as demo cars so if it's something you're interested in if you come into a show or you you know you feel like this is something you'd like to be part of then you could go out in a demo car see what you think um and then maybe it's something you work with me for say six months or a year building your car um and you're not into massive money as well really um you know we're starting at like i reckon fifty thousand upwards you get a really good car really good car right let's go back to the clutch now we come down this hill because it's really these are terrible roads here um if you're in the uk and you know what b roads and that are like in in england it's not good it's like the worst it's the best place to test it i mean look at the potholes jeez uh, rain potholes beautiful england this little but boom boom boom, boom. Hmm. It's funny because when I first got in it, I thought oh, it's too light, um, and now I'm getting used to it. I think actually it's really nice, and that's the nice thing. Just have a little bit of time. So I've got them both there at home. I can just play around with them. Interesting, the back end on this very twitchy. Maybe those twenties. Hmm. Right, so we get out of the the slower roads and we go up here and we just run it through the gears nice and smooth Forth there it's a lovely car this i say the only thing is is just i'm really feeling the difference with these 20 inch rims quite interested right so let's just slow this down it's just, I haven't got much room, but we go second, third, fourth, hmm, a little bit of over revving there, um, third, it does feel good, feels very good. Right, let's head back, grab the 001 car, the blue one, um, slightly different to this in that it's got lightweight seats so it's a bit lighter than this car um, probably 50 pounds lighter I don't know if that will make any difference I'm hoping not obviously it's got the 19 so we'll see on that and then we'll see that clutch difference I've just got a feeling in my mind at the moment it'll go back and the clutch is going to feel so heavy in that car I'm going to be like oh my god so right let's get back and then we can swap over so next time you see me I'll be in the blue one Flat. Which one? Really? Front tire's flat. So many screws. Back a bit. So many screws down there. 
I keep saying to them, stop leaving screws. I keep picking them up. Just from around there. I keep picking them up. Yeah, that's lucky. Just about to do the video. There's always something in there. Um, yeah, there's so many screws on the floor. Oh. It's not a run flat. No. <laughs> It's lucky you said that, Doug, because I'm literally, the video's camera's on. Video camera's on. It's lucky you said that. <laughs> I'd have been. Um, oh, this is the second part of the video. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. So that's where I come down. Um, I just don't want to damage the alloy too much. Um put some air into it like a parking. There's a pump thing in the garage. You want that Michelin one? It's that orange thing. Yeah, let me... Um... I've got battery. Do you want me to put it next to your van? Because you'll run it off a cigarette lighter, won't you? Let me see if it runs okay. <laughs> oh, we've got a flat tyre. Because of all the building work. I keep picking up screws off the drive. <laughs> And obviously, I missed one. It's lucky they told me. It would have been a big video, that. Richard flies into hedge. Oh, God's sake. So, <laughs> we have to do a part two soon. And I'll get this tyre fixed. <sighs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.